Number 31. Which of the following compounds precipitates from a solution that has the concentrations indicated? And then see Appendix J for the KSP values. So in this case, we have calcium carbonate. They told us that the calcium concentration is 0.003 molarity and the carbonate concentration is 0.003 molarity. From that information, we want to find out will a precipitate form? A precipitate, remember, just means solid that did not dissolve in your solution. So you added way too much, way over the limit, and some of it isn't going to dissolve. It's kind of like adding a lot of sugar to your tea or coffee, right? For anyone who loves sugar in their tea or coffee, and you put some sugar in, it all dissolves, you put some more in, and then you have that sugar at the bottom. That's a precipitate. You added beyond the limit of, you know, what it's going to dissolve, and that's a precipitate. So in this case, all we have to do is just find out where we're at in terms of are we close to equilibrium? Can we have added more? Are we over our limit? That comes down to the QSP value, right? And all we have to do is just compare QSP with the known KSP, which we had to look in the back of the textbook. So the known KSP, the solubility product for calcium carbonate, is 8.7 times 10 to the negative ninth. Let's see what we have. So we need that balanced equation, CaCO3. That's a solid. This comes to equilibrium. They told us the ions, so thank you very much. We have Ca2+. Plus. I see a charge, so that's aqueous. And then I have carbonate, CO3, 2 minus. I see a charge, that's aqueous. And they already told us the numbers, right? Calcium was 0.003 molarity, and so was the carbonate, 0.003 molarity. Whoop. What is going on? Okay, there we go. So let's throw this off to the side, because from there, I'm going to just find out what our QSP equation is. So it's the same as the KSP equation, which we've been using throughout this whole chapter. So let's make it our own. QSP equals concentration of the Ca2 plus times the CO3 minus. It's a balanced equation. There's no coefficients, so I don't have to raise anything here. They're all raised to the first, so that's good, right? This is 0 0.003, and this is 0 0.003. So let's just plug in and solve. QSP equals the two numbers, 0 0.003 times 0 0.003. I'm going to plug it into the calculator. Let's see what we get. QSP equals 0 0.003 times 0 0.003. I get 9, or maybe we'll say 9.0, or I guess just 9, right? 9 times 10 to the negative 6. Okay. Now we're going to compare the Q value that we got to the known KSP. So I'm going to say, okay, my QSP value was 9 times 10 to the negative 6. The known KSP value for solubility, we looked that into the back of the text, we have 8.7 times 10 to the negative 9th. Now when you're comparing values, the first thing you should always look for is those exponents. Are they different? We have 10 to the negative 6 versus 10 to the negative ninth. They're different. So in this case, I don't even have to look at these front numbers. I can find out which one is greater or less than, you know, just looking at the values. Negative six is greater than a negative nine on a number line. All you gotta do is just picture those values on a number line. Which one is greater? Negative six is. So I know that this value, the QSP, has to be greater than the KSP. And if you went over your limit, this is where we're at, the QSP. We went over what at equilibrium. We're over here. And if your QSP is over the limit, if it's greater than the KSP, you have a supersaturated solution. And that's when you will form a precipitate. A precipitation will form. You will form a precipitate. So precipitate will form somewhere in the solution, so you will see some solid that did not dissolve. That's all that that means. And there you go. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you or be talking to you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.